In today's video, I'll watch the trailer for the Five Nights at Freddy's movie, and I'll recreate all of it inside of Brookhaven. But before any of that, I challenge you to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel in under three seconds. Three, two, one. Did you do it? Brookhaven is so boring. Yeah, I give up. What if I recreated the FNAF trailer here in Brookhaven? Then, we're gonna play it. But if it ain't good, I'll do just like I did with the taxi guy in the trailer. Wait, what did you do with him? Well, here's the trailer for the official Five Nights at Freddy's movie. This is pretty spooky. Okay, there's the guy and... Whoa! Freddy was in the back seat. And with a child also. That's pretty scary, but don't worry guys. I'll make the official trailers Brookhaven. So for us to get some ideas for our map, we'll have to watch the actual trailer. Here we can see this fallen down sign. This place has seen better days. Looks like someone came to the pizzeria. So let's look for Five Nights at Freddy's in the models. Whoa! We actually found a fully modeled pizzeria. But for where it'll be, I'm thinking of the spawn. So let's delete this right quick. Let's just take these small things out. Okay, everything's out. We just need some floor. I think this gray one works. And that's perfect. Now we can place our very own Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. It'll be right over here. Maybe size it up a bit so it looks good. If we look closely in the trailer, they have a whole stage where they keep the animatronics. So we'll be doing that inside our pizzeria as there's literally nothing inside. For the stage, I found this one, but dude, these guys ain't really selling it for me. So we gotta find another one. I found this one, which looks pretty great, right over there. And we gotta add our animatronics. They gotta put on a show. I think they'll be right there. It looks pretty nice. Focus on this part in front of it. There's tables and stuff for the people there. Some let's get some in here. Basically some birthday celebration tables. And that's how it came out. I just realized that the floor ain't nothing like the pizzeria. So let's get that good old checkered floor. And we'll fill everything. We'll also have to add some walls. This place doesn't really have any. So we'll have to work on that. And just to liven up the place. We'll get some cool posters around. Some arcades too. To be honest, all kinds of party decor. And that's how our first part of the pizzeria came out. Getting back to the trailer, this is the security guard's office where he can see all the cameras and stuff. And I've just found an office just like it. It's not just like the movie, but it's from the first game. So it counts. I'll just do a few changes and the security office is done. Apparently, in this part, there's someone just being dragged. So I kind of want to remake that scene. And for this part, I found this room where there's someone here that ain't doing so good. But this for sure will look great in our pizzeria. So let's make it a bit bigger. Change some stuff around. And that's perfect. We really gotta work on these walls too. We don't want it all out in the open. And there it is. We will need some security cameras around since all of these pizzerias have them. One over there and another one right here. Also something that's not on the trailer but I want to add. It's this desk. Just a regular old desk. But on top of it, we'll get all of the plushies. We can't not have these guys. They're all so cute. To finish it off, we gotta get the security guard. Not exactly like him, but it's our look-alike. To finish it off, we'll need to get a ceiling because this place is still too open. We just gotta get it right. And I think now we're good. We can go in and see the security office. To this side is basically the parts and service room. Over to this side, we have the stage and the animatronics singing a tune for the birthday kids. Now that we have our fully done pizzeria, we have to change some things around the rest of the map. First thing I'll add is a Freddy statue. This is gonna look so good. Even more with him big like that. There we go. I also want to change the sky. It's too bright and happy. So let me get a darker one. Kind of like this one. It actually looks pretty great. It would be cool to spread around the map. Some fans NPCs, kind of like this Bonnie, but he moves around and stuff. He'll chase people around the map. So we'll get a bunch of these guys, kind of like DJ Music Man right here. That guy gives me the creeps. Here in this grocery store, I just want to delete everything that's inside. To start, we'll get some blood going in here. Let's just spread it around. Even in the walls, that's gonna be spooky. And on the floor, we'll have a little noob. He 
he's all tired. I'll also get a bacon hair over to this side. He ain't doing good. In here, I'll get a little morph location. Anyone that goes in this store will be able to turn into any of these characters from the games, which is pretty cool. And with that, we have a store. Another place I want to change is the arcade. For those that don't know, it has these arcade games and such, but we'll delete all of them as I have some other ideas for this. Because we'll be changing it for Five Nights related games, just like we did in the pizzeria. Another one over here. This one right there. I'll also get some lights as this place is really dark. Why don't we get something on the walls too? Like some drawings from the games. And we'll get some cool decorations around this too. So that's how our arcade looks. What I want to do on top of the arcade, it's a party room. So let's get some of those tables going. It looks really good as well. Let me get some lockers too, just for the weird factor. A camera in here too. And on the ground, we'll get some animatronic heads. This place looks so good. We didn't change tons, but this is already looking great. If we go look for Fnaf House, we apparently do have some houses to use. We'll just need to delete these vacancy signs before any of that. These things act actually get in the way a lot. Let's get some floor in here. Since you know, our houses don't just float. Another one right here. Damn, I just realized I gotta do this with each of them. So just give me some time. And we're done. They're all filled. Now we can finally get the FNAF house into our game. Dude, what kind of place is this? The door is literally glowing red. Is anything inside? Nope, it isn't modeled. It's more for decoration, really. But let's continue and get a bunch of FNAF houses. This one's pretty cool. I feel like this one is more mushroom than house. But there it is. This one's nice. Now this one, I would even live here if I could. I'm not sure why, but these houses remind me of the Mario games. Either that or I'm going crazy. Let's get this one. This one's also pretty scary. At least we have filled the neighborhood with these houses. Now why don't I leave some characters in front of the houses? They'll look great in there. Like the marionette. It looks like they're happy to be here. They'll be here as they match the house. In front of this one, we'll get Nightmare. The thing is that I'm not sure if these guys go after players. But for those that get on the map, beware. Be careful around these houses. Look at Chica. I don't think she's doing too good. Close your mouth while eating, please. Foxy is gonna be right here. And why don't we get the new guy, Monty, too? He's looking pretty good. Wait, who's this guy? Oh, wait, it's an art from Sister Location. They're so bizarre. I'll put this guy right here. And wait, what's happening in his mouth? Well, let's just leave him at it. Just for some spooky ambience, I'll leave some abandoned cars around. It's sort of like they were abandoned after our world was dominated by these animatronics. So let's fill this place with cars. Wait, what's this? Oh, it's an abandoned house. I'll leave it over here then. But let's get some more old cars. One over here. And another one right there. Here to the end of the map, I'll be needing a clean slate of land. Because I want to get a whole cart circuit. I think that will be a great addition. We should be able to go over here and use it, hopefully. I'll even leave a little house for it. Over this side, I want to get a Ferris wheel. Kind of like this is an amusement park. This for sure wasn't in the trailer. But it's going to be a fine addition to our game. And the trailer trailer is pretty short, so we don't have tons to work with. I think I'll just clean this whole space up as I'll need a lot of space. So right here, I want to get a whole amusement park. Just look at the size of this thing. We have that tower, a Ferris wheel, we even got trains. Is this a Roblox store? That's so cool. Just for the fun of it, I'll get this happy banana. But we'll also have to get some FNAF characters. This world is theirs after all. I'll get this broken down Foxy. We can even get the cupcake. This one's gotta be really big. Just as a monument to Freddy's. I'll even delete this whole statue. And you know why? Because the cupcake will be where it once stood. I'll flip it and just make it even bigger. Doesn't this look great? Looks like we have some places to stay over here and that's why we'll get a bunch of these drawings onto them now i just have to spread them around and it'll look great i actually really liked it so i've just logged into it and there's someone shooting i'm serious it's like they're shooting out some orbs or something and there's the dj oh gosh he got me that guy is pretty damn scary why did i do this to myself looks like who's shooting the orbs is this mess of wires 
just looks like jumbled up hair. So we gotta be careful so it doesn't do that. Let's go down in. Wait, what's that thing? Is that Golden Freddy? I guess he's stuck. We'll have to go around as I really want to get into the pizzeria. Wait, is it locked? You gotta be kidding me. I forgot to leave it open. I'm back in the studio just to fix these doors up as I actually thought we could open them. Now there's no door. Another thing is this thing. It's too strong. So we'll get rid of it. Ranged attacks like that can be really annoying. All right, we're back in and we don't need to deal with that thing anymore. But we still have the crazy DJ. Let's have a look inside and see how the pizzeria is holding up. The DJ is going crazy on that wall. Please just leave me alone. Here we have those cute little plushies. The main cast looks good right there. That's awesome. This place is so damn dark. Oh gosh, what's this thing? Okay, so Golden Freddy is on AB line to end me. Oh gosh, yes, that's the end of me. Wait, look at all of these people. Welcome subs. Hope you're doing well. So if you want to go and play on the map or in just any public game that I'm one, you should totally follow my Roblox profile at NandoYT. It will also help us to go from the 34k mark to the 50k one. We now go down a big and we have my fan group, which you need to enter. Because inside of it, there will be all the games I've made in the past. Not only the FNAF one, but there's tons that you can check out as well. But that's gonna be it for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like on the video and go comment down below your favorite part of this one. You should go watch one of the videos on screen right now. Don't worry they won't jump scare you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for even more Brookhaven at your door. Have a good one!